Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 3.06, and in this lesson, we're going to briefly take a look at layered editing. So I've gone ahead and I've added a couple different samples just because I was getting tired of those other ones. So we can take a listen back to these first, just hear what they are. These are coming from that uh, Beatport pack again, and so um, that's what we're gonna be working on and working with in this next video. So one other very unique function to Bitwig is there's a layered editing tool. So instead of just working with one clip at a time like we've been used to doing, if we snap over and go into um, the arrangement view, and then we enable this top button, which is layered editing, we can actually work with multiple clips at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on the eye icon right here, and now suddenly we're gonna be seeing both clips, and again, this is very similar to the arrangement view, only now we have control over these parameters. So if we wanted to adjust the pan, we could do that, and we could do it both like at the same time, which is kind of a cool feature. So if I wanted to take this guy and, I don't know, have him just fall one direction like this. Take the other one, bring it down, pull it up. We can now go back and listen and see what we've got. And actually this one seemed like it was a lot louder. So I'm gonna to go to gain and I'm just gonna actually take one point and just drag it down like that. So I get the entire clip to go down at once. So let's take a listen to this and see what we've come up with. All right, so let's say for example, I was listening back to these in real time and I was like, hmm, you know, I could actually take this a little bit further. This is a very helpful feature, um, especially when you have like five, six, seven, eight different clips going and you only need to get two, but you might need to keep comparing one to let's say our, I don't know, this little drop effect. We could be able to then take our other clips like our melody or, or our vocals and we could look at it in comparison to the other clip and then we could make our changes so to get them to fit together a little bit better. So I feel like I want maybe a little bit more movement in this panning, so I'm just gonna loop it and listen back and make a couple of changes. Remember, you can click Option to add curves. So maybe this one I'll actually make go a little bit crazy. Why not? Let's see if we can maybe get these levels a little bit nicer. Then maybe I want a pitch drop at the end. Uh-oh. Got to zoom down here. This is where it gets a little confusing, as you can tell. Let's get this to zero. Just dive it. Okay, so that sounds kind of cool. And that's really when you'd wanna use your layered editing view. There's gonna be a lot of other times that you might wanna jump in here and do it. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you that. And the cool thing is that we can select one of these parameters and mess with it on all of our clips at the same time. So if we duplicated this out, we're going to keep on adding more and more clips. And then, you know, maybe this one I wanna change the color of. Pull it to a different spot. Uh-oh, that caused some serious problems, didn't it? Having some glitch issues there. So I could pull this one around, you know, do what I need to do. And then if I want to just see a couple of them, you know, I can turn off the eye icon. And so now I just see these two here. And if I want to lock something in place, so let's say we want to go back to our pan. I'm happy with the panning in this one, but I'm not happy with it in that one. I can go ahead, lock in my first one. And so now when I'm double clicking and I'm trying to move these parameters, it's not letting me do it. 
but I could still go down to this one and I could uh, move them around if I wanted to. So that's the basics of layered editing. Hopefully that helps and hopefully you can find a good use for it. So I'll catch you again in the next lesson.